Welcome to Archveldor's Hacks with Archveldor and his amazing hacks. Today we're going to be heading to Shedrath. I'm going to show you a really interesting exploit that I'm kind of proud of. I hope you find this ex exciting and as useful as I did. We're in Shedrath because it's the nearest port location to Shadow Moon Valley. Um, just gonna cut short the flight from Shedrath to Shadow Moon, and we're now in Shadow Moon Valley. There we are, and we're in this wonderful location, the Fetid Pool. And we've been looking for this mob the mutated horror isn't it beautiful the mutated horror has a very unusual ability uh, that forms the basis of this exploit the ability is called mutated blood it's a debuff it casts on you when it attacks you and mutated blood does a small amount of damage which is totally inconsequential to a level 90 character but it has an interesting side effect and that is it increases your damage by 10 percent per stack and stacks up to 10 times for 100 percent damage and its full duration is 15 seconds now you may think what use is that because 15 seconds isn't long enough to take it anywhere or do anything with which is why you draw aggro on these beasts as I'm doing here and then drop the aggro send it onto your pet using whatever class specific abilities they might be you want to build up 10 stacks on your pet this is not quite as straightforward as you might think it is it requires a number of mobs on your pet at the same time at least five in my experience of the mob or the debuff even will continually fall off just drawing these mobs onto my elemental getting my pet to freeze them then moving away because the pet remains in close proximity and I've moved away the pet now draws the aggro this pet is not necessarily the best pet to use for this exploit I used a mage to illustrate this exploit because mages simply get around a lot quicker than most other classes but ideally you would be using a hunter class for this exploit because you can get the mutated hard debuff on all of your pets all five of your pets and release them with your stampede ability and they're each getting a hundred percent extra damage that's virtually impossible to stop even for a highly skilled uh, class with superior gear to yours we're really building up stacks here get up to five stacks and at this stage you want to be get ready to dismiss your pet as soon as it hits 10 you want to dismiss it that instant because 15 seconds obviously you want to maintain as much of that bus duration as possible Nine. just one more to go and I'm ready to hit dismiss and that's done and I can now take that debuff with me by resummoning my pets to anywhere in Warcraft because the mutated blood debuff is a debuff rather than a buff it tends not to get removed when you moved into certain locations just going to show you one other buff it's not quite a dramatic a damage increase as the mutated blood debuff but it does have the advantage of a much longer duration of full minutes firstly we've come to blasted lands here 
just outside the dark portal. Gonna be heading to the Tainted Forest, which is uh, an area added in Cataclysm. There's a whole range of mobs here which have a useful debuff. Now the debuff here is slightly more difficult to get put on your pet. It's not clear to me even after analyzing Wildhead and looking at various other sources what the exact mechanics are of these uh, debuff abilities. Sometimes it seems that some debuffs hardly ever go on a level 90 pet. Other times it seems that it doesn't make any difference what the level of your pet is or the level of the mob that's attacking you. So, sending my water elemental into the path of this bear here, hopefully it should draw aggro simply by being in close proximity. You can see the buff there, Fell Taint, on this tainted black bear, that's the name of the bob. Fell Taint increases damage by 15% and increases damage taken by 15%. The increased damage taken isn't really a big deal when the debuff is on your pet. You really need a substantial number of mobs to get this debuff onto your pet. So I'm just going to look around, get some more mobs. Everything in this area has the same debuff apart from uh, the treants there or whatever the name of that mob is. It's, um, it's a tree thing. I think my water elemental really deserves a pet biscuit after this. Any second now. And yes, we have the debuff on our water elemental. Okay, so this buff will stack with the mutated horror debuff for full 115% damage. Fell taint. Uh, as I say, less to four minutes. So, although the damage increase is less dramatic, it's a lot more useful for uh, certain types of situation. Just going to go into a battleground to prove to you that these buffs can be taken into battlegrounds and aren't removed. Now, when I was making this video, I thought this was going to be the most interesting bait I had to get subscribers and get views. It turns out that that is not the case. I have something much more big, much bigger and potentially game-breaking in the works that's still in the stages of early development. I would encourage you to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. This is something you will really not want to miss. You will kick yourself if you miss this and subscribers will get this information first. Okay. Thank you for watching. This has been Arch Veldor. Take care.